Hello everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Dan. I am going to do a quick little video, I hope, <laughs> um, on Mod Podging this little container. I have this little container. It's it's not very big, but I carry a lot of odds and ends. I carry a big purse and I like to throw a lot of odds and ends in it. And um, so I thought this little plastic container would be just the perfect size to put all the little things in and toss it in my purse. And then I have one napkin, just this one napkin. And Look how stinking gorgeous that is. Um, I I found it at work. Somebody left it in a room. Uh, yeah, so I snatched it right up. Um, have no idea where it came from, but it was not going in the garbage. So it's going on my little container. And I have some rubbing alcohol because I'm going to give this a good cleaning inside and out before I use it. I have just my regular Mod Podge. I'm just going to do this the way I've done it since the 70s. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to first give it a wipe off with some rubbing alcohol. Okay, so that's nice and clean. Um, and I'm going to take this napkin and I'm going to think I'm going to do the bottom part first. And I think, how do I want this to go? It's almost like the pansies are running um, like a vine. So I don't know if I want to go up and then across. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up. So I'm going to tear this napkin um, in a couple of pieces. Just about... Actually, I'm going to grab a paintbrush, just a little one, and stick it in some water. I'm pretty sure I have some water here. And I'm just going to go like this first. That'll just give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a line to follow. And it won't be even. I guess I could get a little more water on my brush than that. It won't be even, but it'll make it easier to tear. So let's see what happens now. Yes, perfect. So that was easy. Perfect. And then I'm going to do that again. Actually, this one doesn't have to be, um, this one doesn't have to be torn. This will probably be my top edge, which will be straight. And then I'll just wrap my bottom down and around. So I'm just going to grab my scissors. Yes. That's easier said than done. I just had them a second ago. Yeah, right there. <laughs> I just had to get my husband. I film on my phone. I walked in to my craft room. I moved some stuff off. I've been crafting, doing three or four projects today. Walked into my craft room. I <laughs> I sat my phone down, moved a couple things. You think I could find my phone? Couldn't remember what I did with it. Um, I'm going to do this. It's wetting my fingers and trying to get this napkin apart. Oh, there, I can do it here. It's harder to take it apart at the sealed edge. Yeah, there, that's a better. All I gotta do is get it started and then I can get my thumbnail in there and start pulling. I don't know how many layers this is, probably three. They usually are nowadays for some reason. So that one is off. Ah, there. And this one will be off in a sec. There. And then I'm just going to start Mod Podging around the side. I don't care if the bottom's completely done. I'm just licking the ends of my fingers and then touching each side and 
pulling apart till I can get them separated. This is the only way I know how to do it. So I'm going to start at this. There's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a top edge here, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go like that to the top. Okay, so I'm going to use a brush, just a, I got a little bit of a wedge brush here. I kind of like that one. And I'm going to open my Mod Podge. Oh, that opened a lot better. The last time I used it, I cleaned the whole top of it off. I was having a terrible time with it. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put my layer of Mod Podge on here. It doesn't have to be thick. or runny or anything like that. I'm just gonna do the front first and then I'm gonna take my piece of napkin. I'm going to, cause this won't go all the way around. I'm gonna have it overlap on the sides. I'm gonna take my piece of napkin. I'm gonna put it right to that edge. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna very, very gently, cause this is a napkin and I'm going to, I wonder if it's easier with my finger, just tap it down. So if you're doing a project for yourself, this is an easy way. Remember, don't rub um, even that it stuck to my finger because I hit it too many times in the same spot there so just put it down and then take another little bit of Mod Podge and then very gently seal over the top very gently don't rub it because you'll tear it so just very very lightly you can come back later and do another coat or give it a finish of varnish or Anything like that that you want. I'll probably just come back and give it another coat of Mod Podge because it's a sealer too. This isn't going to be out in the rain or anything like that. So there's the front. Now I'm just going to tip it around. I'm going to set that over there. And I'm going to do here. Now make sure that you go right to the very edge of where your Mod Podge, I went like this around the edge with my brush. So the Mod Podge should be there. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to flip it around, push it. The only place I want to make sure it's nice and level is at the top, which is going to make it bulge out on the corner a little wee bit. And that's okay because I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to go like this and I'm just going to tap this down like that. And then when I put that top layer on, I'm just going to make sure I have a little bit of glue under there so that it stays down. There. See how simple that is? Now this is a very light touch I'm using on this brush. It doesn't take much to tear this. And I can see that the color is coming off of this. That's another reason why you don't want to rub over it three or four times until this first layer is dry or you're just going to have a big purple mess. See how the color, you can just see that tiny hint of color coming into my brush there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to pull that right back to where the glue is, to where it stops, to make sure I've got it all the way. And put the Mod Podge all the way across.
and there. And get this corner. There, and I am going to do the same thing with the other piece. The only difference being before I start putting it on, because it'll overlap my other piece, I'm going to take my water and my brush. And I'm going to go down there and pull that off. And then the same thing on the other end. And I won't have a straight, this is the piece that's gonna go over the top. I might have, should have done that with the other piece, I'm not sure. But if, it, if I should have, it's for me. I'll know next time. So once again, this is going to go across like that and overlap the sides. Get the right brush. Oops. Really aggressive with the Mod Podge that time. And I'm gonna use the lid to hold on to. this. I'm going to line it right up there as far as I can go. Starting to get to the point that it's hard to hang on to. I'm going to tuck that under that little hinge so that I can, oh, see what I have to do here now is I have to make sure I've got some Mod Podge here because when this goes over it needs to have something to stick to. There. Now the nap can do decoupage um, liquid stuff is way runnier than regular Mod Podge from what I can see. And uh, you just put your napkin down and start on top and it soaks through, which would be really wonderful if you were doing this all the time. And uh, the, the Patio Elf, she has so many projects that are absolutely gorgeous. Um, it kind of, I was watching a few of her videos last night before I went to bed and she, um, yeah, she's got so many ideas. She Mod Podge lots of stuff. Um, but she does some garden pieces, um, flower pots and different things for the garden. So she finishes them so that they can be outside and she's given me a few ideas and, and I might... Yeah, I actually might. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to let that. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to put it down. Oh, gosh. Me and my hesitations, right? If you think it's right the first time, it probably is. It's not like it's hard. So I'm just putting some Mod Podge under going around the edge, under, down, over that, down, make sure it's all glued down. Same with this side, put that down. Need a little bit there because it's overlapping. There. Isn't that pretty? 
and it's kind of translucent. It's not a solid. If I had have given this a coat of paint or Mod Podge like a solid color underneath it, um, so I'm gonna. It, it would have been more vivid and the, the flowers would have popped out because they would have had a solid background because this is kind of a translucent plastic. It, um, it's giving it that nice soft look that the napkin actually had, which is yeah, I like. So I'm going to let this dry because I can't handle the top until it is. So this is pretty dry. Um, you can still see bits of the wet Mod Podge because I took a square and filled the bottom in and did it too. Um, so, but I can, I think, look at not pretty on the inside even. So now I think I can do the top. I, I've got something I can hold on to and uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I moved my camera. So let me just put you down a little wee bit here. And straighten you up. There. That's better. So I am going to just put a thin coat all the way around on here. And I think this is the last time that I am going to buy such a big jug of Mod Podge. I find it's just as easy to grab the little ones at the Dollar Tree. And this is getting quite thick. Quite thick. Um, I'm going to go around my edge very carefully because I want it to go on the edge too. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right to the very edge all the way around and I'm just going to brush. I don't want it to run under the edge. So I'm just going to try to kind of brush down to that edge. The catch and everything's on the inside. So I don't want Mod Podge on the inside. I think that will make it stick. So here we go. Let's do this side. Uh, not. And I have another piece already torn, so I'm going to set this down like this. Can you see that? Yeah. And I am going to put, I don't want that yellow pansy right with that yellow pansy, so I'm going to turn it this way. And I am going to set it down like that. Tap it down and... I'm going to go, okay, with this up. Now that's the hinge, so I don't want too much on the hinge. So now I'm going to start, and I'm going to put some on my brush so that it doesn't stick to the paper, and I'm just going to start going around this edge like this. and push it down. My husband's practicing. He's got, he's going to go play with another band. Um, I'm not quite sure when, but um, he's just filling in for somebody for something. And so he's been practicing and so he gets out there and he just does a bunch of runs and he'll play the same thing over and over again. And then he thinks I just, I mean, when I first met him, I thought it was just the end all to everything. Um, after you live with a musician for a little while, it's a little different than what kind of you imagine. <laughs> God, love him to death, but... He's very noisy. Of course, my son plays the guitar too, and he's living with this now. So when they get in the mood, they both get out there and they'll be playing together. I feel like I live in a concert hall half the time. Not as fun as people think it would be. So all I'm doing is kind of taking this right down to that edge. I'm not going to cut it off or anything. I'm just going to take it to that edge and I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to show you how 
I am going to put some on the top of this now. I want a nice coat on the top, spread out and then let it dry. And it'll take quite some time and I might leave this to dry overnight and come in in the morning and finish it or I might just let it finish up here for a couple of hours and come in after dinner and finish it. So I've been in my craft room on and off today, um, almost all day, between being behind on swaps and having a few things like this that I wanted to get done. I still haven't finished my um, video for my, I'm working on a new coffee station for my kitchen and I still haven't finished the video for that. I've got sections of it filmed but when I'll find the time to put it all together and actually have a coffee bar, oh my goodness, it makes you wonder when things are going to happen. There. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to let it finish drying and I'll be back to finish this video off. I might just do the second coat on my bottom too and let the whole thing sit and dry. So maybe that's what I'll do because this is dry enough to go over now. You can actually use a little pressure now. Put this on here. I'm going to put a fairly thick coat on and then spread it a little thinner. This will go quite a long ways. But I just, when I'm doing my final coat, I really just slap it on. You can see the wrinkles. Um, and once this final coat is on here, I just may put a coat of wax on this. I might. I have some um, wax, min wax finishing wax. It's a min wax finishing wax, which is, let me see, um, for those that don't know what it is, it is uh, for you. If you paint a piece of furniture with chalk paint, you go over top of it with a finishing wax. But I have one that has a slight antiquing stain color to it. And I was when I was doing this bottom piece, I was kind of thinking, wouldn't it be nice if it were to have a little bit of an aged look? So once this is all dry, I wonder if I could go over top of it with a little bit of the Minwax Finishing Wax and rub it in. And what happens is you put it in and then you, you put it on, you rub it on, you let it dry for a little bit, and then you polish it off with a soft cloth. And what that does is gives it this really nice finish, but the stain part of the um, of the wax will kind of give it an antique look a little wee bit and it will um, and it'll kind of catch in the wrinkles yeah um, so when you want to Mod Podge something and give it a really good Mod Podge look without wrinkles that's all fine and dandy but when it comes right down to it I, I like the wrinkles I think it's part of the character when you Mod Podge something. I mean, look at these wrinkles. See them? They look like, um, yeah, they just look like, I think that if you put some uh, brown stain in them and rubbed it in, it would kind of look like crazing on old dishes or, um, yeah, just use your imagination. <laughs> So I'm just going to let this whole thing dry a little bit more right there, I think, just on that edge. I didn't quite get there. 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 So I'm going to let the whole thing dry and I'm going to stick my paintbrush in water. I am going to put the lid on my Mod Podge. I am going to go and make dinner. Put the lid on my Mod Podge straight so the air doesn't get in. It's thick enough already. And yeah, I'm going to go make dinner. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you. I'm going to stick this little roll of tape under here so that that's lifted up. Because I don't want this pushing up and sticking on itself. There, I was trying to do that there already. 
So let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there to dry. Okay, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody so far. And I'll be back and show you my finished project and how I'm gonna get rid of this extra paper. So I'm back. Um, this has been drying most of the afternoon. We just had a terrible, terrible storm here and our power is out and it's likely to be out for a couple of days. I'm filming this on my phone and, um, yeah, I wouldn't even be able to film it if I didn't have the flash on the phone to light things up. So I just want to get this done and out of the way. And, um, and then I think I'll just work on cleaning my craft room a little bit. So I have a nail file and this is how I'm going to fix up this lid. See this? I'm just going to take this because I can put it right in here and because this paper is so thin, but you just have to make sure that you put it on here and just go the one way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this up and um, yeah, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. So I have it done. Um, this is just a stinking adorable. I, um, I haven't figured out if I'm going to put a glaze on it yet. I think I might, but I might just leave it like this for a couple of days. So there's a little bit of glue where it's a little thicker just under and above the hinge right here. That's dry to the touch, but not, um, you know, not completely dry through because it's still a little bit opaque but and there's spots you can see the spots where it's it's got a little bit thicker and it's not dry but look at how look at how translucent it looks isn't that pretty that's what happens when you do your mod podge if you did it on glass it would be the same um, because you don't have an opaque surface behind it but yeah look at the lid isn't that just gorgeous? So I'm going to use this to put little things in my purse. And this is just big enough. I have um, asthma, so I have a couple of inhalers that I carry with me always. So I've got room in here for my inhalers, a tiny little bottle of Tylenol, my allergy tablets, um, the cord. I can put an elastic around my headphones and my phone charger and put them in here. Um, yeah, little things like that, that, um, get lost in the bottom of your purse. I'll probably put a couple of those little tabs, uh, you know, those little packets of eyeglass cleaners that I hauled. They'll go in here. Um, yeah, it's quite roomy, but just small enough that I can and snap it shut and, put it down into my purse like this and then when I'm looking for something I can just pop it out perfect I like it um, and if I decide not to use it in my purse I'll use it for something else in the future it's just so pretty so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and by all means if you're not already hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. So I just had a thought. Um, yeah, sometimes you, you're done and then you're not. Um, I have this Forever in Time gold ink pad that I got a while back. And I haven't really used it for anything. And I was wondering what it would be like. To highlight this and it's not putting much on um, you can't see it very well I guess you can see it a little bit but I'm yeah it's just adding the nicest little bit of gold shine to this oh it's so pretty um, this ink pad when I got it was nearly dried up there's not much in it so you have to push really hard to even get any out there you can see a little bit coming on that corner see so I thought, why not? So I'm going to just rub it around the top like this. 
You have to rub really hard to get any on there. See how it's catching in the wrinkles? It won't catch many other places, but it will catch in the wrinkles. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's super. That is really super. Really pretty. I'm just going to do this for a little while. I'm going in every di direction um, deliberately because I'm trying to get all those wrinkles with a little bit of gold in it. Isn't that something? It took it a there's a little bit more wrinkles down here, some smaller wrinkles. So look how it caught in all the little tiny ridges. It almost looks like fingerprints. And it might be. Uh, you never know. It could be my fingerprints. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm liking that. So I don't think I'm going to do the whole sides, but I think I'm going to do a little bit onto the corners like this. Just like that. Just a little bit of highlight. Because so I don't think it needs it all over. There. Perfect. Nice. I like it. It's lovely. So I'll let that dry. And that's it. Um, I haven't gotten much use out of this ink pad. It's, um, it's, it was so dry that it's hard to, you can't even use a dauber on it. It won't soak up into the dauber. So, um, yeah, I just, just what was, Deciding to start to put things away and thought, oh, I'm going to try some gold. Yeah, sometimes inspiration just strikes. So, oh, I love that. It's so pretty. In the light, it just shimmers. So, there. Anyway, bye-bye now for every, or bye-bye for now, everybody.